This is the 2021 BMW Alpina XB7. Alpina is actually a registered auto manufacturer that has partnered with BMW and they make some of the world's most famous and iconic models. There is a misconception that Alpina is like an in-house improvement kind of division, but it's not. It is a BMW partner. They make their own vehicles. This time around, they started with the BMW X7 and they've created one of the most magnificent pieces of machinery I've ever seen. Starting from the exterior, the first thing you'll notice is the floating Alpina lettering on the lower part of the Alpina exclusive front bumper. The bumper has larger inlets for the extra cooling the car has. It actually has a lot more cooling than the regular X7. And the bumper has larger inlets for allowing air to reach those radiators. The bumper also plays a massive role in stability as the top speed of this car is electronically limited at 290 kilometers an hour. From the side, all you can see are those glorious 23 by 11 inch forged Alpina 20 spoke wheels wrapped in 285-35 Pirelli rubber at the front and 325-30 at the rear. The rear end carries an Alpina badge and the XB7 model inscription and also has an Alpina exclusive bumper with a diffuser and quad exhaust tips. Under the hood, powering this 2.6 ton monster is the Alpina tuned BMW N63 B44 T3 engine, which is a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8. And this time around, it makes 612 horsepower and 590 pound feet of torque. It is mated to a very good eight speed ZF automatic transmission but it's not the same 8-speed ZF found in every other BMW. This one has been tuned by Alpina and it also has an additional sump pump on the bottom for extra cooling. They can only do that much to make sure that the gearbox can withstand the extra torque. It's not the first time Alpina has a ZF tuned transmission. They did so with the 6-speed one in the past as well. But in Comfort and Comfort Plus, the gearbox shifts very smoothly. It's really really refined like it, it helps the drive be butter smooth but switch it to sport or sport plus and the shift points get a lot more aggressive with launch control zero to 100 kilometers an hour is supposed to come in 4.2 seconds we measured 4.3 so big deal this thing will complete the quarter mile in 12.6 seconds and the top speed as mentioned before is limited to 290 kilometers an hour it is absolutely mind-blowing how something so big and so heavy can be this quick and it doesn't only go fast it also stops on a dime the front brakes have four piston Brembo calipers with 394 millimeter rotors. And at the rear, despite having single piston floating calipers, it has even larger rotors at 399 millimeters. From 100 kilometers an hour to zero, it came to a complete stop in just 35 meters. That's like Porsche 911 territory. And the brakes, they don't only work very well, they feel perfect. The brake pedal, amazing. It also sounds very nice. It has, once again, an Alpina exclusive stainless steel exhaust system. And despite not being very loud, it sounds beautiful. The funny part is that all this performance comes with a very reasonable demand in fueling. We've been averaging between 14 to 15 liters per 100 kilometers. I mean, when we gun it, it goes towards the 15. When we hit the highway and put it on cruise control, it even dropped to like 13 something. That's Pretty damn good, I have to say. Alpina has also tuned the very good two axle air suspension. They've changed the geometry, the damping, the bushings, the active LSD at the back, the active sway bars, and the result, well, this thing kind of defies the laws of physics. Even in Comfort Plus mode, with the integral steering system and the four wheel steering, you can tackle a corner looking at the speedometer and saying, okay, that's fast enough. And then while you're exiting the corner, you're like, what? That was it? Or you can tackle a corner based on the feel of the car. And then when you're exiting the corner, you look at the speedometer and you're like. One thing is for sure, the amount of times I have said the sentence, how on earth is this possible in this car has been unprecedented. And it's not the outright grip 
that impresses. I mean, there's other SUVs, maybe not of the size that can turn this way, like the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, Maserati, uh, Trofeo, like the Levante. The, the thing with this one is, it just makes it seem so easy. It's just like, yeah, okay, no problem. I got you, let's go. It's like, how can this thing be so big and so heavy and not roll or feel like it's gonna fall on its head or nothing? I'll demonstrate right now. Nice little road. I'm gonna kick down, turn that. I wouldn't go more than 50 in the Civic. I'm doing 75 in this. Exit at 69, back to 80. God damn Alpina. If there's ever the need to take six people from A to B really quickly, and it's not in an airplane, well, it should be in one of these. And it's not only fast and capable, my God, is it comfortable. You put it in Comfort Plus mode, which it was already, you see that gray stuff that's in front of you, like that gray pattern that you're riding on? You don't feel anything in terms of imperfections that that might have. Here's an example. There's a pretty good dip here, which, you know, I go over many times. That's it. I swear to God, in, in a sports car, I've bumped my head to the ceiling over that bump there. And what happened here? It was doop doop. That's it. I'm in comfort plus right now. I'm turning. There's no freaking body roll. No nothing. This thing just goes whoop. It settles and goes. And at the same time, I can't feel anything that's on the road. I see plenty of stuff, but do, what do I feel? None of it. You could do laser eye surgery in the back seat on the move and the patient would come out with 20-20 vision. How Alpina managed to make a car handle the way this one does and ride the way this one does at the same time, well, it's 100% witchcraft. The materials used inside are BMW plus one. The leather on the steering wheel is the first thing you touch. It's called lavalina. It just feels so much better than the normal leather BMW uses. And in typical Alpina fashion, you have the green stitching on the bottom and the blue stitching on the top. And of course, a beautiful Alpina badge. The steering wheel does not have paddle shifters, but it has this plus and minus thing and two buttons on the back, which is called the Alpina switch shift. I think that's the only thing I don't like about this car. These little buttons over here. I mean, what's wrong with some nice aluminum Alpina paddle shifters. The dash is covered in leather as well. All surfaces are soft and really nice to grab. Fit and finish is impeccable. The wood trim is also Alpina exclusive and has this little round logo on it, which is also found on the floor mats. At night, the ambient lighting is very cool and the instrument cluster has yet again an Alpina exclusive theme. The seats are two-tone merino leather and they feel amazing. They support the body perfectly, they're heated, they're cooled, and they give you a really good massage. Special note here, all six seats are heated and all three rows have their own climate controls and USB charging ports. Now that's how it's done. We also have a three-part sunroof with a starry sky pattern in the dark. And look at this roof liner. My God, the suede is so nice. I can't stop grabbing it. Any second now, it's gonna hashtag me, me too. The middle row has captain chairs that are also adjustable and they're screens for entertainment. Roominess is amazing till the third row. There, it's just okay for adults. It does not compare with the full-size American trucks, but is still very usable. The trunk is acceptable with all seats up. You also get lots of hidden storage under the floor, but with the third row folded down, it is 1,376 liters. You can also lower the rear suspension by 51 millimeters at the press of a button to allow easier loading. Speaking about ride height, normal ground clearance is 213 millimeters. You can increase that by 20 millimeters to go over rougher terrain or lower it by 20 millimeters on demand or in sport mode. The funny fact is that when you're driving over 250 kilometers an hour, the suspension lowers for a total of 40 millimeters. So that's a little autobahn secret right there. Towing is also impressive. It can tow up to 2.7 tons. Not bad, eh? It is also loaded with technology, especially the kind of technology that helps you on longer trips because this thing is definitely built for like really quick and very long trips. So it has all the collision mitigation stuff, blind spot monitors, the very nice graphic animation here that shows you 
the car is around you, just Tesla style. It has excellent lane keep assist. Everything is amazing. It has the backup assist. In terms of technology, you get everything you need right here. Wireless charging, wireless CarPlay, all good. It also has a jaw-dropping Bowers & Wilkin sound system with catchy illumination at night on the speakers. With loads of extra power, loads of extra cooling, extraordinary handling, comfort, luxury levels, and more technology than in your closest best buy, it's no surprise that the price to pay for one of these is 165,900 Canadian dollars, or as tested, 179,900. But does it really matter? Nope, not really. At least you get something very exclusive that's very rare on the roads, so it should hold its value much better than anything else you buy in the category. So that's pretty much it with the Alpina XP7. If you like this car, I say go for it. It's a no-brainer, fantastic car. Actually, it's the kind of car that has this presence that when people see it, they just, they're just they curious to see who's driving it, not who is being driven in it. It, it doesn't... I don't feel that this is the same as like, let's say a Maybach or like a Bentley or whatever. This is for somebody primarily, let's say in Germany, that wants to drive daily from Dusseldorf to Munich and just go on the Autobahn and, you know, take his whole family to Munich and they all come out, you know, in pristine condition after an hour of driving. <laughs> I don't know. I love this thing. It's so well done. Amazing driving dynamics compared to its size i mean there's nothing more to say this thing is fantastic so if you like this video please remember to subscribe share it with your friends press a like button it always helps but most importantly till next time be well Perfect.